All right, let's take a look at this. So we'll have a conference call tonight at uh, 4 p.m., and we will record it. Uh, this is the indicator and also the strategy, the indicator and strategy running. The indicator by itself will fire green arrows below price when a potential momentum buy. This is the momentum strategy, momentum indicator that we have. And so a red arrow will fire if there's momentum to the downside, and a green arrow will fire if there's momentum to the upside. So these arrows are dictated by the oscillator below. And very simply, the oscillator below, I have what's called a bear line and a bull line. A bear line is the red line. Anything oscillator below the red bear line is bearish. We're looking for shorts. Anything above the bull line, anything above the green bull line is longs. So if I'm if my trend filter is up now as far as this momentum strategy we have a strategy that is built with the indicator if the if the moving averages are up the fast moving average is in white the slow moving average is in magenta if the white is above magenta then we are in an uptrend if the white is below the magenta we're in a downtrend this is preset on your strategy so if we're moving up, then what the strategy will do, the version you have, it will look for, I have it toggled in now to only look for shallow retracements. So here it went long on a shallow retracement, which is called a tweezer trade here. And it went short here on a tweezer trade here. But the version you guys are all going to be getting, this is the version you have now, this current version is exactly, this trade took short. The exact trade that it took long on a 120.20, 10 days back. All right. This version also is using a target one of 12 ticks, a target two of 24 ticks, a target three of 36 ticks, a target four of 48 ticks. You can change that to 1,000 ticks on target four if you want. I got a stop that I'm showing you right now of 26 ticks. All right, I got a start time at 1.30 a.m. in the morning, a stop time at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. All my ATRs are selected to 30 that I'm showing you on this video right now. My trend is checked with a move, uh, MA fast length of 20 and a slow length of 110. Everything is else unchecked. My retracement strength is zero. So if my retracement strength is set to zero, then the strategy is only going to look for tweezers. Tweezers are small retracements in the market. That's the smallest retracement you can get. That's why it's zero. That is a tweezer is a back-to-back -back, um, small retracement, which is a tweeze right here. Tweezer over here. That's why the strategy went short and went long. So if I take the strategy off and I toggle that off, you know, right now the strategy I've got running. I just did it right there. So when you run the strategy, you can run it on SIM. So this last trade was what, a $1,500 trade? Just this last one, I'm running a SIM for you guys here this morning. Um, I didn't have it running here, so this morning total. The total since uh, using these, and then remember historical results do not, uh, obviously are not indicative of future results. We all know that. You guys all signed the risk disclosure. But, you know, this is what it's done since uh, the, the 2nd of, of April to today, the last 10 days. You know, that's what type of uh, results we're looking at. This is running live here today on SIM for you. Um, so if you look since today, which is the 12th, it hasn't calculated this morning's trade yet. But th that's how you can look at the results that we're getting so far from from this so you can take the strategy off though and just run the indicator if I toggle the strategy off then these arrows will fire now this arrow will fire here on the upgraded version you get to because it's below your number so the arrow fires there so why do these arrows fire where they're firing and why does the strategy get in where these are at what I've done with the strategy okay is that I'm allowing the traders 
to dictate what momentum that they want at what level they want to when these arrows fire. In other words, I have a bull bear line below here. So you can put in the exact level you want to put in. I have 40 here as my bear, uh, my bull. Anything above 40 in the oscillator is bullish on a pullback. Anything below 65 is bearish on a pullback. So since this morning, all right, since 8.30 this morning, my moving average is crossed over. All right, I got a moving average crossover. So that tells me with the end, if I'm just trading the indicator, <clears throat> and this works on any market, any future stocks, currency, forex, doesn't matter. It tells me if this oscillator does not pull back below the green bull line, which it does not, and I get a green pull-in bar. Let me blow this up and we'll go forward. And I get a green pull-in right here, green pull-in on my Renko bar. If that oscillator stays above my 40 line, I'm going to get a buy signal. All right. Oscillator here stays above my 40 bull line. I'm going to get a buy signal. Error should fire. Oscillator stays above 40 on the pullback. When I get a green pull in, should get a pullback. I mean, a arrow should fire. Oscillator goes below my 40. That means momentum has dissipated on this pullback. This is a deeper pullback. I will not get an arrow. Then once again, the fast is below the slow again. There's my oscillator. It pulls back, stays above 40, still bullish. And we get an arrow that fires. Then what happens? We get a trend change. My moving average cross back down. Now I'm looking for bear pullbacks, not bull. My bear line, which is at 65, it says if my oscillator stays below 65 and I get a red bar that prints showing that it's a lower close and open, then you have an arrow that fires there. Now on this pullback, the pullback's too deep before the red arrow fire, or before the red uh, bar prints, a lower close and open. The oscillator is above my bear reading, so that's a deep pullback. You will not get an arrow. The strategy will not fire either. Then we come down, we get a pullback. It's below my bear reading. My bear reading is 65. And I get a tweezer here, and then you get an arrow that fires. So you can tell if I skinny this down. Will it take a trade here? Will an arrow fire here? No. Why? The oscillator is above my bear reading. It went above. That means this will be an, what's called an FZR trade. So these are full zone retracement trades on my indicator in the room. That's an FZR. That's full zone retracements in my zone. That's an FZR. And then this is an FZR. And then all these other ones are momentum, 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 momentum. All right? So if I turn on the strategy, because the strategy, I have it taking, this is a retracement strength of zero. So the version you have currently, if you set it to zero, the retracement strength, it's only going to look for shallow retracements here. It's only going to take these trades here here, here, and here, if you set to zero. The updated version you got, all members are going to get, so that these are the trades it took this morning. It's the version, you, the exact version you have. You toggle this on. That's the trades, right? I got a 12, 24, uh, 36, 48 target. There's my trailing ATR. If you want to trade this to 1,000, you can. Watch. Let's say I want to get the, whole, the move that's larger. I can come in, change my last target to 1,000 ticks. My trailing ATR will trail, trail the price. So I come in. Now I see my trail comes all the way up. Look at my trail. All the way up, right? comes all the way down on my last trail. So now you even optimize it even more. Okay? So what I'm doing though is, 
what I'm going to do is the version you will get, you can dictate the bull and bear line, the line in the sand for momentum trading. Now, this has nothing to do with my wave trader. My wave trader is even better because it has triple, uh, has triple trend, has triple trend. This has single trend with moving averages. My wave trader, which is a version of this, it has the ATR trend with it. So this is an FZR cell that's happening right now. See FZR, full zone retracement. See how it hit the zone? This is not a momentum trade. So this is where the arrows fire the version you have now. This is where the arrow fired automatically. This fired automatically here. You know why it fired. We know why it fired. Because it's below my 65. I put 50 to help you out, but it's below 65 there. So 65. That fired automatically in the room. And on the version you have, it fired automatically for you. This version fired automatically here because it's above 40, which would be here. I'll mark these up in the room for you too. But you can see the room trades right here. These automatically fired. On the version you have, all these arrows, arrows automatically fired. One, two, three, four, five. Look how it caught the swings. It's a beautiful piece of software because we're trading momentum it's momentum trading we're trading momentum all right now if the momentum dissipates and our oscillator gets above our 65 this is 80 and 20 I like 65 40 but I'll show you how to do that if it comes to the zone that's a sell you can sell with the first lower close and open. You can sell the FZR right there if you wanted to. But these arrows automatically fire. The software you have does not fire the FZR trades. It only fires momentum. Fired that short, fired that long, fired that long, that long, that long. Okay, let's go back to the strategy. So you can let the strategy do that for you if you'd like. Or you can use the indicator. The indicator has a little buzzer. It's annoying as heck, the buzzer I have right now. I am changing that to uh, allow you to put what beep you want to have. So in other words, when these came up, members, did the, uh, who, who trade the indicator, uh, you, your signal is going off on these arrows when they fire, right? Correct? Correct? When these arrows fire this morning, you should have an audible signal, that anno annoying signal that comes off. Is it firing correctly for everybody? All right, good. So there's an audible signal that goes over your speakers every time these arrows fire off. I will change that indicator so you can change it to whatever you want. I personally like a submarine sound when I get a cell signal, and I like a bullseye sound when I get an arrow. I'm going to try to put that in the next version, but if not, you can change it to whatever you want, the WAV file. But I like that. I like the bullseye for buys and a submarine uh, going down sells for, um, that's how I had on strategy runner. I thought it was pretty cool. If I get a short signal, submarine sound, bullseye, if I get that. So, uh, but you guys can, I'll have a wave file. You can put in whatever wave file you want in there when these fire. So these, the version that is out and released to everybody, all members, you should have all these arrows that fire exactly at these levels. Exactly. Okay. The strategy, exact version you have, you should have these exact trades that came up on the tweezers exactly this morning. What you will get is you will get on the upgraded version, which you should have got before, which I'm getting out to you with the PDF, you can dictate the bull bear line in the sand. So I'll have a bull bear line in the sand that says if I put in 40, if I put in 65, anything below 65 is short with moving average trend. Or you can have the moving average oscillator off and it'll take all trades, counter and with trend. And anything above 40 is a bull buy and these arrows will fire on the indicator and oscillator.